Hey guys, it's Paul Jang, and i um, going to be talking to you about running an affiliate marketing business, um, running through uh, Shopify's uh, website. Uh, they have an article on passive income ideas. This is number seven. And uh, <clears throat> I'll, I'll tell you, well, we'll look at real shortly um, how they, you know, rate some of their the time, money, and passive income potential. Uh, but also I've increase it to eight different criteria. So this is a running series on different, you know, passive income ideas, different business uh, ideas, different side hustles uh, that you get into. And you can kind of compare, um, you know, if this is better or if, or if another thing is better. So this is uh, affiliate marketing. What affiliate marketing is, is you basically recommend another person's product, uh, product, service, software, um, Whatever it is, you offer it and you get a commission split. Now, this could be a one-time event or it could be a recurring event. Um, so I think Shopify has like an affiliate program. So there's people that would recommend Shopify. And if you use their link, they'll get a cut of it. So um, so the way that they've they've done this um, is they have an upfront time, of, time investment of uh, four out of five. So they're saying that the time investment is pretty significant. The upfront financial investment is low and your passive income potential is three out of five. Uh, so I think it depends on what type of affiliate marketing business this is going to be. Um, in general, the way that this is lined up, it's kind of more you're building some kind of traffic source and um, that's why it's going to take an upfront time investment. So um, if you, you know, blogging, YouTube, podcast, um, Instagram, something of that sort where it's going to take a much, uh, a pretty big time investment and it's not going to cost you a lot of money, but uh, there's going to be passive income potential. So um, I think depending on what affiliate products you, you have, um, it's going to change your passive income potential. So what I mean by that is like the most popular one is Amazon's affiliate partners. You know, so if you look at uh, YouTube and you look at some kind of influencer, influencer of some sort, they'll recommend their different products. And when, when you, uh, when you choose to click on that link, they'll get a little commission. The thing with affiliate partners is it's you won't get as much money for it, right? So so I, I'm not like a huge fan of Amazon Associates just because it's a smaller amount. And I think their cookie is for one day. What, what that means is basically if you click on the link, the person has to buy it within one day. If not, you know, you lose your commission. Whereas other programs, let me show you something popular with, <clears throat> I think it's a little bit saturated, but ClickFunnels affiliate program. This is a much more competitive, um, a, a much more competitive uh, program. Basically what happens is uh, ClickFunnels is basically a website where you, where people, you know, people go into your website and, ultimately buy something they they market it as kind of this this funnel where essentially you after someone buys something you can you know sell them on something more expensive or downsell them on something you know less expensive and uh, uh in the beginning they started with 40 percent. i think now they're at 30 or 20 percent but they talk about you know the sticky sticky cookie like you're never going to miss out on your sales commission if anyone clicks on your link you'll you'll get it They've paid over a hundred million dollars in commissions, and one of the so this guy his name is uh, this guy's Russell Brunson. He's one of the founders. I think there's like two or three. This guy Peng, he's a YouTube influencer, kind of like with online marketing. He's gotten uh, an award for basically you know offering ClickFunnels, and so he he has so 181 affiliates have also won the dream car of your choice. Of being a top affiliate so basically if you get to a certain amount um of you know people that will subscribe to click funnels through you you'll they'll even give you a, a dream car so depending on your 
affiliate program and what you what you recommend, there's going to be different offerings. And the more that you could sell, the, the higher income potential. So this is what I think of it. I basically broke it down into eight categories and I compared it with a nine to five job, land investing and um, uh, all, all sorts of businesses. And what it does is it'll run a percentage on how I feel about it. So you'll see that I was 52. Money potential, it's, it's as big as land investing. It might even be bigger. The speed that you could get your money, it could be even quicker than land investing. So, so far, like really good. Your time investment for, um, you know, like a nine to five job is you're putting a significant amount of time. Land investing, I put two to three hours. Running an affiliate marketing, I put your five, and this is highly dependent on your traffic source. So if you already have a YouTube channel, if you're already doing, if you're, if you're combining your affiliate marketing business with you know, building a YouTube channel or a blog or something else, it, it has a layering effect. And so in that scenario, your time investment is pretty minimal. And this could be all the way up to nine, right? If if you don't have it, well, then, you know, it's, it's, it's closer to a two or three. Now, there's a caveat here with affiliate marketing. There's people that will run paid advertising, you know, get an email or even if um, if they don't have terms like if I if I type in click funnels right now, notice on the ads there's only clickfunnels.com. There's no other ads. And it's because click funnels, if you try you know doing Google ads with click funnels, click funnels will take away your affiliate commissions because they don't want anyone competing, you know, for you know their organic traffic. Right. So if anyone's typing in click funnels, they don't want anyone to take. But there's other uh, websites out there, uh, other products that they don't have that in their terms and conditions. So if you found, you know, usually it's going to be, um, you know, smaller programs or they could be, um, you know, software that's, you know, in the early stages and they're not necessarily caring that people will use their name for Google paid paid ads. And so in those scenarios, uh, this amount can, uh, your time investment could be a lot less. So you're going to have to manage that a little bit more. So I kind of think in terms of land investing, it's a little bit more significant. I could see how people spend two, three hours on this business in a week, but generally uh, there's going to be a lot more data tracking. If you're going to be doing this, uh, you know, if you're going kind of the paid route, you're going to have a much bigger time uh, money investment. So I put here five five, uh, really because if if you have your traffic source, this is an eight, and your money investment is a two, right? If if you don't have, um, if you don't want to, um, if you want to build a traffic source but you don't have it, well then you know that's going to take a lot of time. But your money investment could be like nil, right? So I'm just putting here five five, kind of to emphasize that there's there's really two paths with this affiliate marketing business one is the paid you know the paid side of it and then the other one is building um, a traffic source ideally like you do both right so the difficulty in the work it, there's some there's more technical aspects with affiliate marketing than I think with land investing like land investing is you buy it and you resell it with affiliate marketing you're checking on Google ads Facebook ads or you're looking at building traffic through YouTube or blogging, you know, whichever path you have, I would say it's a little bit more difficult. I wouldn't say it's like impossible, but it's, it's definitely a little bit more trickier than um, like land investing. Uh, is it scalable? I would say it's even more scalable than land investing, right? Like with jobs, like you can't replace yourself in the job, but with affiliate marketing, you could recommend multiple products you could recommend click funnels you could you could uh, recommend um, Amazon affiliates you could recommend uh, multiple things and if your traffic source is uh, is good you know you just keep pounding it right like if you're doing paid ads and it's gonna get you more and more deals you just run more money in it if if you're running some kind of traffic source like YouTube um, increasingly you'll have other products you can recommend you'll also have more um, more subscribers more viewers um, you know, more viewers of some sort, right? So like it, it's, I think it has a, a, an even bigger compounding effect than I think even land investing. So is it competitive? I would say land investing isn't as competitive as some other stuff. I would say affiliate marketing is pretty competitive. Like for example, if I go to YouTube and I, and I typed in ClickFunnels, 
right? So if I type in click funnels, right? Um, that together. Well, click funnels. So, so here's here's Russell Brunson. You're competing with him. You got all of his all of his stuff. The founder. Then you got Mr. Money, who's got two point two thousand thousand views. You have your forty six thousand. Another Russell. You have you have Medics Media one hundred seven. You know, so there's a guy with seven hundred forty nine videos. So if you're you know really good, maybe you could find something. But you know, it, it's 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 a little bit more competitive. I would say um, you know articles uh, are even more competitive than than this. So you know when you consider all all these things, like oh, so here's Pang fifty nine thousand. Um, that was the guy over here in that picture, right? Like, it, 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 if you if you think about this, it's um, it's uh, a little bit more competitive than I think with land investing. You ha you if you're creating a traffic source, you need to push out a decent amount of content. If you're doing paid ads of some sort, like kind of a roundabout way to advertise ClickFunnels or other products, you know you it, it it's it's more difficult. You know, uh, I would say to make it less competitive is to focus on products that are a little bit more newer, you know, but then when they're newer, you're going to have to vet them out and check to see if it's something good. If not, you know, people that, you know, bought through you would be displeased with you for offering a, you know, crummy product. So, um, so that's why I think it's, it's a little bit more competitive than I think with land, um, uh, you know, it's. I think it's rough, rougher goings than a nine to five job. That, that's that's what I think about it. It's easier to get a nine to five job than than beat the affiliate marketing business. So location specific, it's definitely I think better than land investing. So overall, I generally like the affiliate marketing business not um, by itself, but you know when it's layered with you know digital products, an online course, and a blog or. Um, some kind of agency model, like Facebook agency, like you're very good with it, or, you know, Google ads business, you're very good with it, or Instagram. Like if you're combining it with someone, something else, I think it's really powerful. It, it has a very good compounding effect. I would say just focusing on it, uh, it, it gets a little bit lower. So that's, that's how it comes to 52. I think when you combine it with, with other things, it becomes much more powerful. So um, that's the affiliate marketing business. Um, if you are interested in getting this Excel sheet, I'm going to have some variation of this along with all the other businesses. Uh, I don't know if you could see it. It's, it's a little bit like this one's great on a print demand store. And I wrote out the numbers. It's, it's a little bit smaller, but uh, I'll put some variation to this in the description below. If you are interested in the land investing business, it is how my wife and I were able to quit our jobs. I think pretty highly of it. I think um, it pairs very well with people that have a job or if your time is limited um, and getting into something a little bit easier, a little bit better than, you know, rentals or, um, um, yeah. So, so there's that. If you're interested in that, check that in the description below. Uh, otherwise, subscribe, like this video. I really appreciate it. Take care. Have a good one.